security measures in place to protect an iconic species on the African continent. Giraffes are native to Africa and are the tallest land mammals. This public-private partnership has established infrastructure that will allow students to improve their research skills while also fostering international cooperation on the study and conservation of giraffes. Giraffe population have declined by more than 40% over the past 30 years and the research done at the center will aim to conserve the species for the future generation. Giraffe is facing extinction on the continent without people knowing it. We call it the silent extinction. And if we don't tell people about it, they won't know it. And if I and the team and my colleagues, if we don't do something about it, who else is going to do it? So we have to put the biggest effort in that we can. 16 years, is, we've, we've accomplished a lot, but imagine in the next 16 or 30 years coming, what we can do and what we can achieve together. This is the time, we have to do it now, because we're running out of time. The facility is said to be the first of its kind in the world. The university is working with 64 local and international students who are taking part in the research initiative related to giraffes. Part of the research program is to show the interconnection between humans and animals. Our researchers at the Free State University understand that we are all interconnected, planet, animals, plants and people. So it's very important that we actually look at the protection of each of those components of the ecosystem. And the Giraffe Research Center is, is a starting point uh, to actually focus on giraffe research and we hope that this can be a blueprint for similar types of studies on other components and members of that broader ecosystem. Ultimately, the research that we do um, is focused mainly on impact uh, at the end of the day. So we want to see what the research is not just always in the theoretical plane, but how does it transfer to society and how we can get maximum impact for, from our research environment. Because you will see that most in, uh, environments, it's very seldom that you can um, solve a problem in society or even given an ecological system like this, uh, the plight of the giraffe being one of them, within one discipline. You need a multidisciplinary approach disciplinary approach. According to the 2024 reports, the size of the southern giraffe population across Angola, Eswatini, Namibia, Botswana, Mozambique, South Africa, Zambia and Zimbabwe are estimated at 68,837 animals, while South Africa's population estimated at 30,005. Ishmael Mudiba, SABC News, Branford.